you know, I never thought I'd live in Nazi Germany. <laughs> but here we are. Here we are, the political party in power using the weight of government, the threat of force, to punish its political opposition. History may not repeat itself, but it certainly fucking rhymes, don't it? If you didn't already hear about this... Okay, here we are. Breaking. Steve Bannon says at least 35 Trump allies had their homes raided by the FBI on Thursday. Now this is, uh, as far as I know, this was coming out... I think this was uh, late the 8th, early the 9th. This was coming out, so I'm a bit late to the party. But um, I'm not really making this video to break the news to you. I more so want to use this news to illustrate a point. You can come over here to TimCast.com where I'm reading this and uh, check out the write-up. They don't give you a whole lot of information beyond just the fact of what Bannon said and, and a few additional details about who said what and some of the names surrounding Bannon and all that. Um, I think the much more interesting thing to do is come over here and read Bannon's full statement and then um, say what I have to say about this type of historical event. So this is the official statement from Bannon about this event. Just days after being swatted three different times by deranged thugs from New York City inspired by the Biden administration to assassinate me by police, the Soros-backed DA has now decided to pursue phony charges against me 60 days before the midterm election because War Rooms is the major source of MAGA grassroots movement. Um, to people who check out when they hear Soros' name because that's like an instant red flag for a conspiracy theory, it's not a fucking conspiracy theory. It's 100% verifiable. Go look at who donates to the campaigns of these district attorneys. It's Soros. It's not a conspiracy theory when the money is, it's not even hidden behind any layers of camouflage or anything. Soros gets these DAs elected and these DAs proceed to not do their job. It's not a conspiracy theory, it's fact. The SDNY did the same exact thing in August 2020 to try to take me out of the election. It didn't work then, it certainly won't work now. This is nothing more than a partisan political weaponization of the criminal justice system. I actually disagree with the partisan part. This is nothing to do with partisanship. This has to do with statism and the establishment. Rhinos are just as behind the destruction of the MAGA movement as Democrats. There's a lot of Republicans who want to see Trump and the people who support him fail and go away. And it wouldn't surprise me at all if they, behind the scenes, lend weight to this kind of shit. Because there is no two-party system in this country. There is people working against the establishment, and the establishment, and it's been that way for a very long time. Longer than most people would care to admit. I am proud, back to the statement, I am proud to be a leading voice on protecting our borders and building a wall to keep our country safe from drugs and violent criminals. The War Room show will be more vital, more intense, more urgent, and bigger this time. They are coming after all of us, and this alludes to the thing I want, the point I want to make. Not only President Trump and myself, I am never going to stop fighting. In fact, I have not yet begun to fight. They will have to kill me first. Steve Bannon. Now the point I want to make is about what's going on in our country now and men like Joseph Stalin. You come over here to this channel, Simple History, and you can get a very quick bite-sized snippet of history just running over the bullet points of Stalin's life. And even in a bullet point format, we see just how evil and fucked up Stalin was. But we also see that the moment that Stalin got power, what did he do? He started executing all the people he came up with, all the people around him. He used his power to starve or imprison millions of his own people. 
Do you think maybe some of those people supported him when he was gaining power? Yes, they did. When tyrants gain power, they never stop at the people who opposed them. I'm looking at you, people left of center. This video is to address you. If you think that the way we're going ends in just the destruction of your opponents politically and ideologically, it doesn't. It ends with anyone who the party finds objectionable in any way in prison or dead. I'm not joking. I wish I was. And we know it happens to people on the left all the time. All the time. People on the left get canceled for old tweets. They get canceled because they have a differing opinion. Look at Nicki Minaj. She got canceled because she questioned the safety of the vaccine. All she did was raise a mi minor concern about possible vaccine complications and the left pounced on her when the day before she was held up as the very pinnacle of the modern woman. If they'll go after Nicki Minaj for a perfectly reasonable inquiry as to the safety of an experimental drug, you really think they won't go after you for those objectionable posts that you thought you deleted on Facebook from when you were a teenager? You really think they won't go after you for those weird pictures that you posted on some forum back in the day? The spicy memes. You think they won't go into your personal messages with your friends who are off color and see what you guys say back and forth and haul your ass off for hate speech? They absolutely will. It's just a matter of time until they get enough power. So if I were you, I would start doing everything in my fucking power to fight against the establishment. Your life may depend on it. Very soon. I'm Zach Peeper, the lead adventurer here at Team Adventurous. We're going to be going live on Twitch in about... Two, hang on, 10, 11, I'm not good at math. Two hours, 11 a.m. PST with my good buddy from the UK, Mason in the Dark. We're going to be talking politics, reacting to silly balls, silly bollocks as he would call it. God damn it, his Britishness is rubbing off on me. So, hope to see you there over on Twitch. If not, go ahead and hit that sub button. Do everything you can to support people like me and your friends and family. And fighting against this evil. Let's just call it what it is. I hate to throw that word around so often. But you know what? Call a spade a spade. And in the meantime. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next one. Welcome to the adventure.